do you tell someone you're dating that you don't feel that you're a good fit? Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue, I'm Susan McCord. One of my friends and I were talking the other day about this situation. Because when you're dating now, there's so many options you have with online dating. Sometimes you end up with, especially when you're new, you end up with like 10 people contacting you. So how do you weed out the people that you don't feel a connection with? And how do you do it so that it's actually not offensive to them? It's the hardest thing in the world to tell somebody that you just don't feel this chemistry attraction is basically what you're saying. Now my friend said that she just tells them she's just feeling a, a friend vibe. Well, we know that most people don't want to be in the friend zone, but if you're being honest like she is in the beginning, it's way less stress for the person that you're dating because if they're being led on and think that there's something, there's going to be something, they're going to stick around and see what happens, especially if it's a little bit more one-sided where they're definitely interested in you. This is where it becomes a problem and this is why people are ghosting each other. This ghosting thing is becoming a very easy way of terminating a situation you have with your dating somebody. It might only have been one date. You might not even get to the first date and they just don't say anything. They just don't show up or they you have the one date and then that's it. It's done. I really believe that you learn about dating, about love, about life when you learn how to tell somebody you're just not feeling it. You don't have to be mean about it. It's a gentle delivery. If somebody that you're dating, they're saying to you, oh, what can we get together next week? Just say to them, I'm, I'm just feeling like we're more on the friend area or I don't feel that we're as compatible as we could be and I'm looking for this. Or if they're dating a lot of other people and that's not what you want to do, you just say to them, I'm looking for a committed partnership. I don't want to be dating with people who aren't ready to find their person. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Dating is different today. We all are making all these new sort of changes in our lives with how we do date and it's difficult. But it's even harder when you're sticking around with somebody because you don't want to hurt their feelings, you don't know how to say it to them, or you're ghosting them because you don't want to have to be honest with them. Sometimes you don't have to say anything. It just fizzles. But it's nice when you can be honest because you're giving them something to think about too. If you're saying, I, I'm more into somebody who's athletic and likes to go hiking and likes to do that and they're not that person, well, at least they know when they walk away, it wasn't because they weren't attractive to you. It's because there was some thing, big things missing as far as how you interact on a personal level. And those are big things, but it also gives closure for that person because they think, oh, okay, well, they're right. We actually didn't have that. And that's important to them. So you don't take it so personally that way. When someone is gentle with how they give you the goodbye message. And I think really people aren't doing that. They're just walking away. They're taking kind of a bit of a cowardly approach by not addressing that sort of elephant in the room. We don't fall for everyone we go out with. I mean, that would be silly if we did. It'd be, just be way too easy. And when you're choosing a life partner, it shouldn't be a l hell of a lot of work, but it shouldn't be super easy either. You've got to go through some things with each time you meet somebody, learn how to understand who they are, find out little intricate things about them. So it's not going to be necessarily a one or two time date and then you know you're invested in them. Sometimes you, you spend two dates with somebody and you say, yeah, well, I gave it a second shot, but no, I was right the first time. I just really don't feel something for this person. I feel like we're just too different. I mean, everybody's dating now this way. So everybody knows that you're not going to be date, um, in a relationship with every single person you meet. So people are getting more and more accustomed to understanding that there might be a really quick hello, goodbye. 
and then nothing transpires from it. But that's okay because that brings you closer to meeting the person you are looking for. So rather than looking at it as a failure or, oh, we didn't work out or this person just ghosted me and ran away, they did you a favor because if they're going to sit there and pretend or lead you on and play games with you and you're sitting there hoping something transpires from this, they're wasting your time because initially if somebody's interested in you, you'll know they're interested. You don't have to sit there and read between the lines. There's a connection. There's something that goes, some kind of powerful vibration that happens between the two of you when there's a, a reciprocated feeling. And where we make mistakes in dating is we hang on too tight to the one who isn't there for the right reasons. They're there just having fun. They're not looking for a relationship. Make sure that you're not getting yourself into situations with people and hanging on too long when you know that it's not going to work out. Learn how to express yourself and to move on. Move on quicker. Because it's not hurtful to a person if you're really nice about how you deliver the message. It makes them feel better that, okay, we're just not right for each other. That's all it is. Don't have to read anything into it. That's just what it is. But if you're left on the lurch and nobody says anything and they just walk away, that over time takes a toll on your self-esteem. I always say the first rule of thumb in anything in life is treat people how you want to be treated. If you're not into them, don't just stop texting them. Don't just shut the door. Just be honest. They'll thank you for it down the road because you will help them move on quicker to meet somebody that they are better suited for. And same for you. This is why this honesty in dating and relationships is important because a lot of people are feeling snubbed. A lot of people are feeling just ghosted and, and don't have any closure or understanding what happened. And sometimes you might be in a relationship for three to six months and they just vanish. Please don't do that to each other. Respect every human being that you give energy to or they give energy to you. If you don't feel something, just say it to them. Once you learn how to do it once, it's so much easier the second time. And when you do this, you'll feel better about yourself too because I don't think you'd be the greatest human if you could feel good about just ghosting somebody every single time. I would think after a while that might take a toll on you too and make you feel like, why would I treat somebody like that? That's not kind. So think about all these things I'm talking about here and just be really open and communicative with people that are giving you time. You owe that to them. I know sometimes we think we've given them a very loud message that we're not really that interested and we're hoping they walk away without us having to tell them. But there's some people that just don't get it. They think that because you're still talking to them and seeing them, that there's a chance that there's something that's going to happen between the two of you. If you're finding that you're spending a couple of months each time with somebody and then you're telling them that you don't feel a connection, pay attention to the early red flags. That goes for everybody. Pay attention to the red flags because if you listen to them, it will help you decide sooner. So you don't have a prolonged situation that you're dealing with every time. Learn to, to figure out what are the most important aspects of what you're looking for. If you have to write them down and look at them every time you go out, do it. But just make sure that you're not coming into someone's life and you've got this sort of pattern going on where, oh, I'm gonna try it for a couple of months. If you don't feel it early on, please kindly remove yourself and be open and honest with the person about it. And on the other side of the coin, if you're the person that is hanging in there in some of these relationships and you're not sure if they're interested, listen to everything going on around you. Are they slowing up on their texting? Are you only seeing them maybe every two weeks or three weeks? Is it a last minute date that they're planning? Are they not are they talking about other dating situations that they're going on? Are they talking about traveling for a year down the road? All these little things here will help you come to a conclusion too. If someone is leaving you hanging, 
walk away. It's not worth your time to sit there and see if there might be a connection down the road. It's not worth it because when someone's interested, they will show you. You don't have to ask all the questions about it. This is the one thing that is very clear in any new relationship that you enter into. If they're making plans to see you again fairly quickly, they're interested. If they take three weeks to get back to you, they're not. They're playing and toying with the idea, but they're not fully invested in getting to know you. It's always a good idea to have a few lines of what, how you would say something diplomatically to someone that you're not interested in, but mean it, be sincere about it. If you don't, if you feel, I feel more of a friendship vibe than a, a romantic connection, you could say that. I mean, that's simple. It's nice. You're not being mean. You're actually saying, I like you as a person, but just not in a romantic sense. I don't feel we're a match. Things like that. Just find something that's very sincere that will help them move on as well and not leave them sitting here feeling bad about themselves. You don't want to say anything negative. Oh, you did this and you weren't like this and you weren't like that. Just say, I feel for myself it's not the best fit. I don't feel as compatible with you as I would like to be. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please leave any comments you have below the video and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Bye-bye.